Good morning, Year 2. I hope that you have all had a lovely half term and that you've had a good rest. For maths today, you need your sheet that has Monday week 1 at the top of it, with the date 22.2.21. And our Walt, we are learning to draw pictograms. The first picture that we're going to look at today is this picture of this fruit. This could be some fruit that we might find at school for break snack perhaps. So you have a picture that looks a little bit like this on your sheet at home but it's got some slightly different fruit on there. So first of all together we're going to complete the tally chart. So I need to count how many apples I have first. In my first row I need to draw a tally of the apples and then the total. The second row I've got oranges and the third row I've got bananas. So first of all I need to do a tally of these, so drawing my tally lines of how many of each I have. Second of all I need to write in numbers my total of how many I have. So let's count together how many apples we have. We have one, two, three, four apples. So I'm going to draw one, two, three, four tally lines. And then I'm going to write my total. What am I going to write? Four. In my next row, oranges. Let's count together how many oranges there are. One, two, three. So how many tally lines am I going to draw? Let's count together one, two, three tally lines. Well done. And my total is three. Now bananas, my last row, how many bananas are there? Let's count together. One, two, three, four bananas. My tally lines are a bit going a bit funny, but try and draw them as neatly as you can on your sheet. Try and draw them neater than Miss Bangham has drawn hers. Four tally lines and my total is four. So let's move on. To turning these into a pictogram when Miss Bangham's presentation moves along. When's it going to move? There we go. So here we have our tally chart that we have just looked at. We now need to turn this into a pictogram here. So we've got our information in the tally chart about how many pieces of fruit we found and we need to turn this into a pictogram. It's really important the first step that we look at our key to find out what we're drawing in our pictogram. So here I know from my key that one circle equals one piece of fruit. So for each piece of fruit I've counted, how many circles am I going to draw? I am going to draw one circle for one piece of fruit. So in my first row, apples, my tally lines, I have one, two, three, four tally lines with a total of four. So I'm going to draw four circles. One, two, three, four. Oranges, next I have one, two, three tally lines, a total of three. I am going to draw one, two, three. It's really important when you're drawing your pictogram to remember that you need to have your images all lining up in columns or if you're drawing it um, vertically you need to draw have them lining up in rows so here I have had where I've got four apples one two three four underneath my three oranges lining up with the first three apples which makes it a lot easier for me to compare how many different pieces of fruit I have Finally, bananas, I have one, two, three, four tally lines, four in total, so I'm going to draw how many? Count with me, one, two, three, four. 
So now you might want to pause the video and on your sheet, you need to draw your tally chart and then your pictogram for your picture of your fruit. Now let's have a look at the next picture when my PowerPoint moves on. Go. So again, you have a problem that looks a little bit like this on your sheet. Again, not quite the same. So I have a tally chart here and I have my pictogram. I know that they're each square in my pictogram means two animals have been counted. So we need to practice counting in our twos. Let's count how many dogs they have recorded on the pictogram so far. Let's count in twos together. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Now I'm going to look at my tally chart. I've got the pets in the first column, dog, cat, rabbit, fish. And in the second column, I have the tallies. Now we need to remember that when we get to five with our tallies, we've done one, two, three, four tally lines. When we get to five, we cross over the four lines before moving on to start another five. This makes it a lot easier for us to count. We can count them in fives. So here I have five, ten in my tally chart for my dogs. And over here we counted that we had two, four, six, eight, ten in the pictogram so I don't need to add anything else to the dog row of the pictogram because I have put in all the dogs I need to from the tally chart let's count our cats now we have 5 10 11 12 13 14 cats we need to show in our pictogram how many do I have in the pictogram so far? Two, four. So you're going to count with me as I draw the rest of them in. Six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. There we go. I've completed let's count again two four six eight ten twelve fourteen let's double check in our pictogram that our pictograms right in our tally chart we have five ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so we finished that row let's move on to rabbits rabbits how many do we have five ten eleven twelve so we need to show 12 rabbits in our pictogram, remembering that each square shows two animals. We have two, four, six, eight. How many more squares do we need to draw to show 12 rabbits? We've got eight shown so far. Let's count in our head in twos. Have a think about that. You can use your fingers. Eight in your head, counting on in twos. So I think we need to draw, count with me, we have two, four, six, eight, ten. How many more? I think one more. So we have added two more squares. Let's count together. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So you're going to have a go at completing your tally chart or your pictogram from your tally chart, which looks a little bit different to this one. Before you do that, let's have a look at the last row. Fish, five, 10, 15, 16. In my fish tally chart already, I have two, four, six, eight, 10. Let's count together, 12. Fourteen, sixteen. There, I have completed my pictogram. 
and to check your pictogram is correct, you can count the tally lines and then count the number in your pictograms again. Let's hope that my PowerPoint will move on now. This is a challenge question that I'm going to post on the class story. And if you have finished your worksheet, you can have a look. We have three challenge questions today that you can have a look at and try and have a go at answering. So I have decided that this pictogram is correct. So I'm going to look at my key. One circle means two people. And people have chosen their favorite sports. We have football, rugby, gymnastics, and swimming. So I have decided that one, two, three, four circles means four people chose football as their favourite sport. And that one, two, three, four, five circles shows five people chose rugby as their favourite sport. Looking at the key, I think this pictogram is correct. Do you? You need to tell me if you think this pictogram is correct or incorrect. And you need to tell me why you think it's correct or incorrect. Our next challenge question. We have a graph of eye colours of teachers in school. Mr Harris found out the teacher's colour of eye. So you need to look at these three graphs. Which of these graphs shows the information correctly? And finally, our last challenge question. The tally chart and the pictogram both show the same thing. Do you agree or disagree? Do you think it's correct or incorrect? So you need to count the tallies, check the key and count the pictogram. I'll post these on the class story and you can have a go at those at home. If you have any questions about maths today, do just pop us a message on Dojo and we will try and help you. Good luck and have a good day.